Hey, welcome to the Julie Tussie Show. I'm really excited to be here with you today. On today's show, I'm going to catch you up on what's going on with ABC and the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. We're also going to talk about Christmas songs. Yes, Thanksgiving and Christmas are right around the corner. So I'm going to play you a couple of the songs from our Merry Christmas CD right here on the podcast, along with some other great and interesting information you're not going to want to miss. While you're here, please leave us a good review and share this with your friends and family so we can reach more and more people keeping you in the know on The Julie Tussie Show. Get on the Julie Tussie train. We're going somewhere, baby. Pop the glam pain. It's time for the Julie Tussie Show live guest, current events, scathing exposés. The original suburban bombshell, the big blonde baby, giving you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. And now, here's Julie Tussie. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a lot of fabulous things I want to talk to you about as we get the Julie Tussie show rolling here for you. Just got back from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. (laughs) Yeah, I never thought I would go there. I've been with Gary for like 23 years, uh, married, going on 24, been together 25. And he's never taken me there because he said that I wouldn't care for the mountains in Uh, They're kind of growing on me after all these years. You know, I'm more like a high-rise girl, if you know what I'm saying. But went there for a Mary Kay conference. That's right, girls. I am a Mary Kay consultant because their skincare is off the chain. You can find me everywhere on social media and reach out to me. Um, But I loved it. The women are amazing. It was fun. It's so encouraging. Oh, my gosh. I loved it. It touched my heart, changed my life. I got to sing a little bit of worship music with them there on Sunday morning. And, oh, my gosh, it was just so fun. So that was going on. Now, I'm back in the studio. And I was checking out some really cool things. Kanye West, man, he's shaking it up. You might not like the guy, but I'm telling you what, he is amazing. He, um, his wife actually was on The View, which is not one of my most favorite shows sometimes, but she was on The View and she was explaining what has happened with, uh, Kanye. And I loved it because it said, Kim Kardashian shares husband Kanye West's amazing evolution of being born again. That's right, baby. He is shaking it up. I guess he's like having a music service every Sunday. And sometimes pastors will show up and they'll get up and preach. And he's applied for his 501c3. So I look for him to become an ordained minister myself and having his own church. But he is he is doing it, people. He is sharing the good news. So ha- my hat off to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. I uh, love that family. They're a little dramatic, but they're so beautiful to watch. And it looks like they're really getting their life in order and uh, praising our Jesus. So that's cool. That is so cool. Wanted to mention that. Now, on this podcast today, I'm going to be sharing some of our Christmas music. And a lot of you, um, if you Google it, you'll find it everywhere. I hate to say this, but it's on some pretty big places. I won't mention them by name because they may want to rectify. But if you Google it, you'll find out you can get this album a lot of places. But the only place that Gary and I actually get a a portion of the proceeds that you pay for the album is cdbaby.com. And you may have to set up a little account. I think all it is is an email and a password. And then you go in. But you go to cdbaby.com and you search Gary and Julie Tussie and the Merry Christmas CD and a few others will pop up. And then if you want my other music, you search Julie Tussie and it pops up. Because I was actually recording before Gary and then I did an album since we've been together in my name only as a solo artist. And um, so we've got a combination of really cool things on 
please do go and get the music and put it on your phone. It will help you feel amazing. You are going to love it. I have spent my entire life, believe it or not, since I was nine years old, I started singing publicly and I actually started writing songs at that same time. And uh, I wrote a song called Brother Love. <laughs> I played clarinet in the fifth grade, and I'm telling you what, I charted it out, took it to my music teacher, and looking back, he was probably pretty impressed. Because <laughs> I like, here's a song that I wrote, you know, and it, and I, because I knew the notes from playing clarinet, I played the notes and I wrote the song, and and then um, started performing, and then uh, at 12, I got. I asked Jesus into my life at 17. I got connected with a great church and started going out. I was actually called to the ministry. Started going out and singing and and writing and I I guess preaching, believe it or not. I love to speak. I love to speak, especially at women's events. You guys know I'm all about women. That's why I do this podcast. I love the men too, though. I love the men. I have a pretty good following of men. So thank you, you all. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I shared on a podcast a couple months ago that um, we have about 80% of America is listening to the Julie Tussie show. Whoop. But we've also got a big following in Paris and Korea and Australia and, okay, so it was Paris and London. And I'm so, I I don't know, I'm telling you what, if you just follow the dream in your heart and trust God to be what he created you to be, you'll get wherever you need to go. And it's awesome because I don't really like to travel tons. I, I like to travel, but I get tired. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, peoples? So. So it's really cool to sit right here in my own studio and be able to reach out to you all and tell you how much I love and appreciate you, how much I love and appreciate you. So go and get get the music. I've got uh, I think we have seven CDs and. You know, I have poured my life, heart, and soul into these um, CDs, and only one of them actually has cover music on it. The rest is all original, and I was sharing it with a friend as we came back from the Mary Kay uh, conference. It was called A Fall Advance, and oh my gosh, it was life-changing. I love, love, love this company, love their products, amazing. Join me, if you will, just join me, and... um I was sharing with her our album and it was so cool to hear and see the response of another person because, you know, a lot of times we're in the studio doing all this and we're not getting a lot of personal feedback um, unless we go out and sing. And that's usually through the summer. And so, (laughs) so it was really, really cool to see. And but it made me think that, um, I was doing this. I was writing music when I was 24 that, oh my gosh, it was so good. When you get away from it and you go back like someone else did it, because it's not about me, man. It's about doing what I'm created to do, right? By by my creator. And you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, because my twins, my youngest set of twins, I have two. Yes, I do. Get off the floor if you would, please, now. (laughs) But all I have given birth to is two sets of twins. And uh, to be honest, I was on birth control for all four of them. Okay, I wasn't I couldn't decide whether I wanted to have children. So I just prayed that prayer. Oh, Jesus, please just have your way. Have your perfect will in my life. I don't know what to do because I wasn't sure I wanted to ever have children. And so both times I got pregnant with twins. And why I prayed that prayer again, I'll never know, but <laughs> I love my kids. I love babies. I'm so happy, so happy that the God saw fit to give me two sets of twins. So my second set is now 21. Well, they will be in a couple of days. So they're 21 and I was 24 when I wrote some of this music. So I think I might dedicate a whole show to some of my Christian albums and kind of tell you the story behind them. If you'd like that, you guys reach out and, and message me. You can write me at the Julie Tussie show at gmail.com or at Julie Tussie at gmail and let me know. But, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I wrote this song when I was 20. I wrote the whole album when I was like 23. And it released when I was 24, I think. 
maybe 25. I can't remember. Too many dates to remember, but I was so young and it's just awesome. So you're never too young. You're never too young to do what you feel like you're called to do and you're never too old. I mean, dream those dreams, darling. You know that's what I'm all about. It is never too late. You are never too old. You are never too young. Just surround yourself by people who cause you to be better than you are and do a fantastic, fantastic job giving your life and heart and soul, putting it into whatever it is you're creating or doing and go for it. Just go for it. Hi, it's Julie Tussie. Who would have thought holiday foods could be so fun? Tune in to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash TMETV. Join the fabulous holiday fun. I'm here to empower you to fix what's broken in your life. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. I mean, you are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. So on today's show, I want to play some of my Merry Christmas CD for you, Gary and I um, did it. So, of course, there's going to be standard Christmas songs and a couple of originals in here. So, we're going to give you just a couple on the show because Thanksgiving is coming. That's right. Oh my gosh. Let me look at, I'm looking at my calendar. All right. So, today is the 18th and Thanksgiving is 10 days away. Aren't you in the holiday spirit? Christmas is just right around the corner. I am so, so excited. Before I play a song for you, though, I wanted to tell you that some amazing things are coming up for the Julie Tussie uh, life that's happening with me. So it's the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking has been uh, picked up by our local ABC 36 channel and it's WTVQ right here in Lexington, Kentucky. Now we are so excited because we have gone from a streaming television station. We've been on Roku. We've been on uh, YouTube and now you can see all 11 and the 12th will be soon. 11 episodes that we've done so far of the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking simply by going to YouTube and searching Fabulous Cooking Julie Tussie and it will take you there. I have them in a playlist. You can watch them all. If you do, subscribe and then you'll know when the next ones are. So they're going to air on ABC and as soon as they air on ABC, we are going to put them on YouTube also. So those of you listening in Paris... France and those of you listening in London, England, and those of you in Australia and Korea and China, wherever you're listening in in the United States, you don't have to be local here to us. But for those of you who are local, you can see it every Sunday beginning January 5th from uh, 1130 to 12 o'clock. So if you're in church, set your DVR, set your recording systems, whatever you can do, or go to YouTube and watch it. But please Please do interact with me, okay? So when you think of us, pray for us that we find even more success, that we reach more people, that these shows go well. We are looking for interns. If you're in the local area and you want to come and help, of course, intern is free at first, plus lots of delicious food to eat. It's fun. Oh my gosh, it is so fun to make a cooking show for television. And um, then, of course, when the positions become paid, you would be the first one in line. So if you're interested in that, right? me at the Julie Tussie show at gmail.com. Please do go to the Julie Tussie show.com and go Christmas shopping on my TV shows. Right now I've introduced a new, um, it's like a Yeti. It's not a Yeti, but it's like a Yeti and it is leopard sparkle on the bottom that ombres into Tiffany blue sparkle or pink sparkle. And these cups are 30 ounces. They are gorgeous. They have the logo on it. You can add a name. They make a great Christmas present. So now is the time to get online and get those. The com slash shop sister shop brother. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to one of my most favorite songs on the CD right now. Have yourself a merry little Christmas from the Merry Christmas CD by Gary and Julie Tussie. Let your heart be light From now on Our troubles will be out of 
Hope you enjoyed that very much. That's one of my most favorite songs. Actually, all the music is by Gary Tussey. And um, sometimes I play a little bit of uh, rhythm instruments and do things like that. But this was my first, believe it or not, Christmas album, mine and Gary's. And we were so excited. We're actually going to focus on if we can fit it in this next summer of 2020. We may record another Christmas album because, you know, you you grow and your voice changes and you increase and blah, blah, blah. (laughs) So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, I want to talk about a song. This is one of my most favorite songs on the face of the earth. Michael English recorded this way back in the 90s and it was called Mary do you, Mary did you know and oh my gosh I love 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 this song. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I recorded this song. Number 1 it's the like the most amazing song ever, but it was one of the songs I really learned to as they say cut cut my chops. <laughs> in other words, it, it was a I could really, really, really sing it. And you'll hear that in the song. Like it's one of those songs that just fits my voice, fits my, um, my range and is a challenge to me, but I don't like break at the top of the notes and stuff. And it's a really, really good vocal workout for me. But on top of that, my dad, um, most of my life, my dad was not a believer and I was able to pray with him and lead him to Jesus, um, after years and years of being in the ministry. But he would actually say he was an out-and-out atheist, which I never believed. But the really cool thing happened is he always wanted me to not do Christian music. He didn't want me to do ministry. He wanted me. He thought I was going to go far and be a big star. And that's what he wanted for me. And, of course, I had to follow my own heart. So we always had that little disagreement there of what I should be doing with my life. And, you know, that's not always easy, especially when it's your dad. But you do have to choose your path and follow what you feel like God wants you to do with your life. And so I did that. But after he got older, my father discovered this song and he did not know it was one of my favorite songs. And I so we were talking on the phone one day and um, I cannot remember if I sent it to him after that. Somehow he discovered this song and I think I sent it to him after that on a CD Um he told me, he said, Jewel, and that was my nickname from him, and I still love that to this day, but he said, Jewel, uh, I heard this song called Mary Did You Know. He must have heard it on TV, and he said, that is such a great song. Y'all, that was the first time my dad ever showed appreciation for a Christian song. That wasn't mine <laughs> because he would always listen to what I recorded, and he would say, yep, yep, that's good. You did good. And... um so he, when he reached out to me with that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is one of my dad's favorite songs. And so we recorded it in like 2011, maybe. 
2011, I believe it was, we recorded the song. And the whole time I'm recording it, not only is it my favorite song, but I realize it is one of my dad's favorites. So it made it even more special to me. And of course, my mom, she loves every single thing I do. She loves, loves, loves this song. So I want to share it with you. It's called Mary Did You Know. Mary, did you know? Your baby boy would someday walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child. So that was Mary. Did you know? I love, love, love. As you know, that's one of my most favorite songs ever created in human history. (laughs) Gary Tussie did a fantastic job. The drums were done by a friend of ours named Rick Warner. And it was really, really uh, just the highlight, I would say, of my life. One of the highlights of my life. Now, we have other songs on this CD like um, Santa Baby, uh, the Christmas song Silent Night, which we funked it up. Yeah. Um, I might, maybe I'll put that in my next podcast so you guys can hear it. Uh, Whatever Baby Wants. That's a really cool song that Gary and I wrote when we were um, dating. Feliz Navidad. Prayer for Sarah. That's an instrumental by Gary that's beautiful. And I'll be home for Christmas. So the last song I want to leave you with today is going to be Shimmy on Christmas Day. And I was some, it's so funny how I write songs. I actually write music and lyrics, although I don't play an instrument verbatim. Um, 
I can actually go do 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 and Gary can play that on guitar. <laughs> So I just sing him the song, we write it, and then if I want to write instrumental pieces, you know, it's kind of, so it's been kind of a blessing and a hindrance that Gary can do all that because I haven't had to learn to play an instrument. Although I have been slightly busy raising two sets of twins, okay? Slightly busy, not to mention all the travel and music and all the wonderful television and podcasting going on around here. So anyway... um, I wish you, and so does Gary. I'm thankful to Gary. Let me say, first of all, I'm thankful to Gary Tussie for all. He he and I co-produce everything. I usually do all the arrangements. And we co-produce the songs. We mix them down together. It's just been amazing. I've been with this man for 25 years, and it's been amazing making music with him. So I'm so grateful. I'm spoiled rotten to have that in my life, and I'm so thankful to him. And I wanted to tell you that Gary and I both wish you and your family such a happy Thanksgiving. So we're going to do one more podcast before Thanksgiving, and we'll be sharing some more music with you on that. But please do go to CD Baby. Sign up for an account if you have to. I'm not sure, but I think you do. That is the only, believe it or not, the only outlet that actually pays us for our own music. We've had... Download after download after download on. If I told you the names, you would not believe it. So if you Google us and find it to go get it anywhere else, please don't. Please get it at cdbaby.com. They actually pay us for our albums. And you know what? We're not starving artists, but we have had some times, my people. It is not all, all money rolling in. When you are in music, you pour your life and your heart and your soul into it. And sometimes you don't get a penny in return. And um, especially with the way that the Internet and all of that, it's kind of taken, you know, it's different than when you could get a CD. Now, if you want an actual hard copy CD, you can reach out to me at the Julie Tussie show at Gmail dot com. I can get that to you. I do have a tech coming in and we're going to get him to put the albums on line and I believe though that that'll be download also at the Julie Tussie show dot com. You can go Christmas shopping there. Oh, my gosh. You all, the earrings, the jewelry, the 30 ounce leopard ombre cups that are like a Yeti that keep everything cold. You know, we're all on a fitness journey, even if we're not. We all need water. We all need healthy things to drink. And it'll keep it hot or cold for 24 hours. So go over there and support your greatest podcast ever in human history, okay? The Julie Tussie Show. Enjoy this um, song. It's called Shimmy on Christmas Day. I was walking through my bedroom while we were recording the album, and all of a sudden, this song popped into my head. And uh, country music was really, really popular popular right then. So I wanted to write a Christmas song that had a country flavor to it and I heard it in my head. So I wrote this song in about 10 minutes or less. The only thing I had to decide was what style and what brand of boot I wanted to put in there because it says put your Laredo's on we'll kick it through the roof. And um, so I settled on Laredo's for my western boot for this song. So enjoy. Please do go follow us everywhere you can find us on social media and happy happy holidays as you listen to shimmy on christmas day remember you only get one fabulous amazing and awesome life i want to remind you to live it to the fullest darling i'm gonna shimmy 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 on christmas day i'm gonna play this here guitar
of the music you hear on today's program go to cdbaby.com forward slash c forward slash julie tussie three only on the julie tussie show are you gonna hear that you are not created to be ordinary but extraordinary you are not created to be common but uncommon you are not created to be average but above average You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. Do you want to create your own podcast? Well, I am here for you. Everything you hear on the Julie Tussie Show, every podcast you hear every week is completely created and produced by me, myself. I'd like to offer my services to you and help you to launch your own fabulous and amazing podcast. Reach out to me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com. You can also find me on social media right here to help you be all you were created to be. Visit the JulieTussieShow.com. Lots of fabulous shopping, beautiful things that you might want to get as a gift or for yourself. You can also reach out to me and communicate with me there. The JulieTussieShow.com. To get your own pink or Tiffany blue leopard ombre sparkle cup holding 30 ounces and keeping your drinks hot and cold for 24 hours, visit the JulieTussieShow.com slash shop. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce. 